Me call. We talked about this. If we get a wide split, number one and number two are really wide. They are 10 yards apart. Well, now if he went fast to the flat, the safety could not get over the top of him. Okay, he could not get over the top of him. Okay, because our free safeties are 10 to 12 yards deep, and they are in between number two and the end man on the line of scrimmage. So if he's way in here, there's no way he can get out here on this vertical. All right, our corners are seven yards deep, one yard inside, number one wide receiver. All right, our strong safety is five yards deep, one yard outside of the number two receiver. Then your weak safety is 10 to 12 off. With the twins look, he's halfway in between in man on line scrimmage and number two. So over here, one and two are really wide. So now free safety, reading left, playing blue. Hey, me, 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 me. That means, hey, I'll take the vertical of number two. Corner, you got number one, strong safety. You've now got to leverage the flat. So if now if two bubbles or runs a speed cut, strong safety, you got to leverage it, and I'll take the vertical. Corner, you're basically man to man here. That's what a me call means. All right, on the weeks on the on the away side, say one and two are really tight. All right, that's when wheel routes happen. That's when scissor routes happen. So now we got to make a frame call. So now I'm going to tell the corner, hey, frame, frame, frame means be alert for a wheel, be alert for scissor routes, and all that means is we're now going to pedal out a little bit faster and keep this all in front of us and let it work itself out. Okay, and then cover down, cover down. There's no back to his side, so no need to give a bomber call. Three is now to the read side. One, two, three. Mike's dropping off three. Push alert to the strong safety. Push alert to the strong safety. He's dropping off two. He's dropping off three. He's dropping off two. All right, on the away side, okay, and we didn't talk about this in the last slide, but if this two, the strong safety and the wheel have the same reads, all right, so if this guy's fast out, bubble, speed cut, he's inside and underneath number one on the curl or the slant, all right. If this guy, if number two pushes vertical at all, if he's vertical, any kind of vertical stem, free safety's going to lock on, corner's going to lock on. Now the strong safety and the wheel, they have to expand with the five yard out. So in, in, in corner's coverage, one of the main differences is how do people handle the five yard out, okay? And the way we handle it is with the strong safety and the away side linebacker. So if he ran five and out, strong safety's on top of it. If he ran five and out, the wheel linebacker's on top of it or whoever our away side linebacker is. All right, some people will keep the corner on the five yard out. All right, some people will... Um, always have the strong safety as the curl flat player. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. For me, this was the best way uh, that, I could, that we could play the fastest. Basically, so any kind of fast out, you're leveraging, you're over the top. Any kind of vertical push, you're man, you're man. You got the flat, you got the flat.